Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and welcome to the Mom Logs. So this week, my grocery shopping was like so off. I had uh, my groceries in my cart on three different websites trying to order my groceries online and I could not get a time slot at any of those three stores. So my husband was kind enough to run to the store for me this morning and I have everything downstairs and waiting to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up our meal plan or menu on the screen. I'm going to run through it. I do have some of the stuff already and then we got everything else that we were going to need for the week like staples and um, extra things for our menu from the grocery store today. There were quite a few things that we didn't end up getting. I usually will do my grocery shopping at Walmart but um just with all of their changes and everything. They're only letting so many people into the store now and I didn't want to make grocery shopping an all day fiasco. Um, and I didn't want to send him out and then have him like waiting in line to get into the store. So we ended up going to Meijer. Um, I've only grocery shopped there a couple times. I wasn't really familiar with their prices or what they had. I had some sort of an idea because I did try um, shopping online for pickup or delivery and um, so I did kind of have some sort of an idea of what they had and I knew that they weren't going to have some stuff that I was used to picking up from my local Walmart. So first on our menu is bourbon chicken and I'm planning to um, cook that with water chestnuts, um, rice, and a vegetable. I'll probably decide when it comes time to make that dinner whether I'm going to do cauliflower rice or real rice. Just It just depends on my um, how many dailies I have left and how many fit points I have left and what I need to use up by dinner time. So and um, when I take you downstairs I will show you what I am going to use for the bourbon chicken sauce. Next on the menu is spaghetti squash. With meatballs, I have some butterball turkey meatballs that I need to use up in the freezer, and then we'll have a salad. And because my kids don't like spaghetti squash, I'm just gonna make um, ravioli and then they can have some garlic bread. Next on the list is another Italian night, chicken parmesan, and we w I will make it with shake and bake and um, real pasta and a salad, and then everybody else can have garlic bread. Um, and then I'm going to make an Asian salad. The protein in my Asian salad is chicken and I will usually cook that with a teriyaki sauce. And then I have buffalo chicken. I have shown this on my channel before. It's basically like a chicken parmesan but instead of a red Italian sauce I just use a buffalo sauce, like a pre-made one. And then two ingredient dough pizza with a salad meatloaf um, with frozen vegetables and mashed potatoes and then of course Easter and I will show you what I am planning to do for that. Probably not gonna be very WW friendly but that's what I will typically do on a holiday especially under these circumstances is I just kind of let myself enjoy the holiday make some yummy food that we can all enjoy. So that is what's on the menu for this week. I'm gonna go ahead and take you downstairs and I will show you what I got. All right so Brought the groceries home, sanitized everything with some good old Lysol wipes, and I'm going to jump right in. I'll start with the produce, of course, a bag of grapefruit, because I am addicted. I don't know what I'm going to do when they're not in season anymore, but these are the Texas ones, and they are the best. A little bag of mozzarella cheese for pizza. My husband went grocery shopping. It looks like he got the Italian style. I don't know what makes it Italian. Maybe the way it's cut? I don't know. Um, some light string cheese. I don't know how, ma how many points these are. Sometimes the lights are two, sometimes they're three. Let's see, they're 50 calories, so it should be one point. One for one, two for two. Ultra thin sliced oven roast turkey breast. 
This has got caramel color in it, but it's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, I went ahead and got stuff for um, Easter. So I'm gonna do some brown sugar, like butter brown sugar carrots as a side. I was gonna do green bean casserole, but they didn't have any French fried onions. This will be for my pizza. I do the fat-free one just to keep it lower in points on my pizza. I got a dozen bananas. I think that's a dozen. Two, three, four, six, eight, ten, ten. Ten nanners. I got some guard, two bags of garden salad just to have on hand. It makes it so much easier. And then um, I also got a bag of three heads of romaine lettuce for salads and wraps and whatever we need it for. A cucumber. Some strawberries, these aren't organic or anything. It's just like so slim pickings at the store, but I'll wash them up really good. A pineapple, this needs to ripen. So I'll just leave it on the counter. If you turn your pineapple on its side and then um, let all the juices run down to the surface of your counter and then you just keep turning it on your counter until it's all yellow. That's like the quickest and easiest way to ripen up your pineapple. If you just leave it standing up here, all the juices will run down to the bottom and then it will end up yellow on the bottom and still be green on the top. Another bag of mandarin oranges. This is gonna be mostly for the kids and my husband over here, but this is the just some breakfast bars for um, Ben to have with fruit and yogurt in the morning. Two jars of peanut butter. I told my husband not to worry about finding like a natural one in this time. Normally I like to give them a natural one because it has less ingredients and lower sugar, but this is just what he could find. These are for my husband. They are the Kettle Brand Honey Dijon potato chips. Got some jelly. This is the jelly that I like to give my kids because it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in it. The teeniest, tiniest tub of PB2 that was ever made. Uh, let's see, I this is for my husband and kids. It is the sweet harvest bread, just for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or um, a lunch meat sandwich or whatnot. I got these because they did not have ex the extreme wellness ones or the La Bandarita ones. Let me see, I think these are one point. They are, oh, they're two, one, Tortilla for two points, so not bad at all. Same as the La Banderita low-fat ones that I've been having. Again, these are the Mission brand carb balance flour tortillas, and these are the medium size ones, and it comes in a pack of eight. I saw these on the Meyer site, and you can have 13 snacks for five points. I'll probably just have like Six, so it's six for two points. Just the Quaker apple cinnamon, like little snack, like the teeny tiny rice cakes. I got the cornstarch to do a fun craft with the kids. It's um, for moon dough, and it's just like hair conditioner, which I have some on hand, and um, cornstarch, and then you color it with food coloring. I thought that would be a fun activity to do with them. And we're also gonna dye Easter eggs, which is why I wanted to get an extra thing of East, uh, Easter eggs, just regular eggs to hard boil. This is also for Easter. I just wanted to go easy peasy. I'm just going to do scallop potatoes, the butter, brown, sugar carrots, and then I'll skip over here just like a little ham just to pop in the oven. And then I also have some um, of those yeast dinner rolls that I will cook up. They're just hanging out in the freezer. Um, let's see, five boxes of mac and cheese. This is a staple in our house for an easy lunch, especially nowadays. This, I just asked him to pick up a sweet treat for the kids because, I don't know, it's like the little things nowadays and um, they I just feel so bad for them because we can't go anywhere. So this is just a little way to bring some fun into their lives, a little sweet treat. Um, this is for the kids. I started buying the tub of the Oikos Triple Zero. I used to just buy the little individual cups of them, but this just seems like it's like lower waste because we're not going through one cup every single morning. So they have this mixed with just the regular yogurt 
I always buy the Faye 0% milk fat, but they didn't have the 0%. They only had 2%. So I'll just have to figure out how many points this is going to be. The Faye is the best for making your two ingredient dough. And it's the best for if you're substituting sour cream. Let's see. So it looks like if you do the two ingredient dough, you'll need a half a cup and that it's just two points as opposed to no points. Just in case you needed to know, the 2% is two points for a half cup. Um, let's see, water chestnuts because I was gonna do a uh, bourbon chicken and I was gonna put some water chestnuts and some frozen veggies in it. Cream of mushroom soup, I'm pretty sure he probably already had this in his cart when he realized they didn't have the French fried onions um, to make the green bean casserole I told him just to get it because we'll use it instead of going back and getting that but I'm gonna do like I said I'm gonna do the carrots instead of the green bean casserole some dried chives because I was out it's always nice to have these in my spice cabinet some stoke cold brew because just because caffeine is life this sugar-free teriyaki marinade, this is the G. Hughes one. It does have, I believe it has sucralose, which is Splenda in it. But um, here's the nutritional facts. It does have points the more you eat. But I really like to cook our, um, like if I'm making a stir fry, I like to do that. And this is also really good when you, if you have like an Asian salad to put on your chicken. So I'll usually do this on the chicken when I cook it and um, the craft toasted Asian sesame dressing. Um, just some, this is the leanest turkey they had. I'm gonna make the meatloaf, so I just needed something to make that with. And this um, veggie breakfast sausage. These are one patty for one point. I like to have these in the morning with my just egg. It seems weird to get veggie sausage and a ham, but these are just so low in points and I really, really like the way that these taste. And I really do try to only save my pork consumption for um, like special occasions. So we don't eat a lot of pork in our house. And then a bag of riced cauliflower. This will um, have with the bourbon chicken. And I can show you what I'm going to use for the bourbon chicken. I didn't get this this grocery shopping trip, but I did get this last week. I just saw it and picked it up because I figured it would be nice to have and that we could do it another time. This is the Sunbird Bourbon Chicken. If you saw my last day in the life vlog, I had a stir fry one and I picked those two packets up at the same time. So this is what I'm going to try making with um, the water chestnuts and the cauliflower rice. Um, I have a large unsweetened original almond milk. We have this with our smoothies and then just keep it on hand for if we like have a protein shake or whatever. A uh, canister of coffee because again, caffeine is life. And then the last two things I've got are just drinks. I like to have a diet root beer once in a while with some popcorn when I sit down on the couch at the end of the night. And then sometimes I'll also have a soda water. I think I've had this one before, this bubbly, and it is really, really good, the blackberry one. I'll just give you one more overview of everything. I really hope that you like seeing what I got from the grocery store this week and that it gave you some meal inspiration because I know we are all cooking more than we are used to cooking. So for this week, I am planning on making one of these meals for dinner in a what I eat in a day. So you can look out for that video on Wednesday. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more from me, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. I will see you next time. Bye.